Museum of Computing in Swindon. Absolutely incredible space, full of old computers, new computers, in between computers, <laughs> games, what toys, <laughs> and hopefully Super Square Cloud somewhere. Let's go find them. So you brought us to the Museum of Computing in Swindon. Why on earth have you chosen this location? Uh, we got an EP launch here. Um, we, we chose this destination because we, we've released a single via a game and we thought it was kind of apt. Um, and it's a very interesting environment. We thought it'd be uh, something a little bit different. It's an absolutely incredible space. What's your favourite computer in here? Um, it's taken me a while to absorb it all, but I've, the Atari 2600s bring back fond memories. Um, my dad had one when I was little, and uh, that's my first computer. Alongside the video, you've gone for a computer game, which we've mentioned on the show. Explain how you do that. How does it work? Well, <laughs> we um, we created it through RPG Maker, um, so all the difficult bit was sort of done for us. All, all the math and coding. Yeah, but um, <laughs> it just seemed like an apt idea at the time when we were recording. We were looking at different ways to um, promote the single, um, and downloads can seem quite boring and dry these days, so it was just an opportunity to do something a bit different with yeah, it. I mean, while we were thinking of uh, ideas, HMV shut in Swindon, and so did Rise Music within about a month of each other. Yeah. Um, so we kind of imagined a future where there was going to be no record store, just, I, just digital downloads. <laughs> Let's take a step back with the, with the computer game. So you have designed and built your own computer game in kind of parallel with the launch of your album. <laughs> And the computer game is almost a kind of simulation of someone buying the physical record. Yes. And you put that together because people can't buy physical records anymore in and around Swindon. I wish I could have put it like that. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. There's some extra bits to it as well. We've added some Easter egg hunts in it so that there it's not just the motions of going through the game we've, we've put little challenges in it and um, on completion of the game you can actually go to our website and download some uh, special exclusive, uh, exclusive stuff, stuff um, from incentive. us as well as, right. a, as a bit of a gift <laughs> for people who are willing to spend the time playing the game. But there's some extra detail in there as well when you go into the record store you can walk past the, the slots with other local band CDs in the racks so that kind of gave you an opportunity to to pay a little respect to them as well. We've got a lot of our friends' bands in there, a lot of local bands. Um, there's a lot of homage in there. Yeah, in the yeah, game. definitely. Um, a lot of our friends are dotted around the streets. Um, we've got Nudie Bronk in there. There's a lot of, yeah, a lot of stuff. If, if you know us, you're probably in the game. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds a heck of a lot better than the Super Mario Bros game that I'm currently, currently looking at. <laughs> it sounds better. <Yeah. laughs>